Hi, I'm Victoria Logley. In today's video, we're gonna be exploring the best things about living in the Glen, as well as all of its awesome neighborhoods. All these wonderful neighborhoods surround the Glen Town Center, where there's always so much to do. Art festivals, music every Wednesday night in the summer, plus great restaurants like The Oak, Yard House, John's Garage, Starbucks, and shopping galore with Van Mar, Glenview Jewelers, Dick's Sporting Goods, plus Ever Eve and Apricot Lane. Plus, there's plenty to keep the kiddos entertained with the Coles Children's Museum, Funtopia, and Color Me Mine. Chapel Crossings is one of the first neighborhoods built in 2001 and offers 168 single family homes ranging in all kinds of sizes. This neighborhood has plenty of green space, from the Circle Park off Constitution to the huge parkway on Independence, which is often a place where kids will play soccer or volleyball. On warm summer nights, the ice cream truck will stop by and neighbors will gather for ice cream or a glass of wine. On the southeast corner of the Glen, you'll find the Landings neighborhood, where there's 143 single family homes also built in 2001. This neighborhood is anchored by a charming gazebo and beautiful ponds. The Landings is super close to the Glenview Metro train station, Dairy Bar, and the library. The most luxurious and stately neighborhood is Southgate, which starts at the corner of Patriot and West on Independence with 182 single family homes built in 2004. Here you'll find 127 homes tucked away on streets like Kitty Hawk, Saratoga, and Midway. There are 55 extraordinary stately homes back up to the Glen Club, which is an 18-hole golf course in Southgate. The best part about Southgate is we have our own private park called Southgate Park, where neighbors and kids gather for lemonade stands, a game of hoops, or just plain fun. Tower Crossings is in the heart of the Glen with 154 townhomes split between Valor at the north end of the Glen and Admiral on the south end of the Glen. These townhomes live like single family homes with many of them over 3,700 square feet and even a handful of them have elevators. Patrick Commons was built by Toll Brothers and completed construction in 2017. It's just south of the Glen and west of Patriot. Maintenance free living with plenty of condos and townhomes and tons of green space. The Cambridge neighborhood sits between the Glen Town Center to the west and the Glen Metro Station to the east. North of Gallery Park in Lake Glenview, there's approximately 279 properties with a combination of townhomes, duplexes, two flats, and even 19 single family homes. The best part of this neighborhood is it's right across the street from Gallery Park and Lake Glenview. In the most northwest corner of the Glen, you have Regency at the Glen, which was completed in 2014 by Pulte Homes, with 40 ranch style homes, duplex villas, and townhomes located on Coral and Dauntless. And the newest Glen neighborhood is Westgate, completed in 2017. Located at the northwest corner of Lake and Shermer, designed and constructed by Edward R. James, offers 171 properties, one quarter of them being single family homes, and the rest are townhomes. Many offer primary bedrooms on the main level. Honestly, the best thing about the Glen is all the friendly neighbors. We're all connected by here in the Glen site where you can easily communicate with other Glen neighbors and share information. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment below on which Glen neighborhood is your favorite and please be sure to like and subscribe.